And now a few items from our Freedom Files. Earlier this week, Freedom Watch told you about the Obama administration's new assault against medical marijuana dispensaries in California. Well, it's not stopping there. It's now warning publishers and broadcasters who are running advertisements for these dispensaries that they're also on the list of the Obama administration's growing number of targets. Listen to this. Newspapers, radio stations, cable television, any other media showing these ads, which are entirely legal under state and federal law, are at risk of federal prosecution. Have the feds forgotten that there's something called the First Amendment, which guarantees free speech, ultimately protecting these ads from being taken down by the federal government? The Constitution restrains the president and his federal cronies from wielding their power over advertisements they don't like or those they hate or fear. And this week, the Supreme Court is weighing whether strip searches after minor traffic offenses are constitutional. New Jersey resident Albert Florence received a traffic ticket for failing to come to a complete stop at a stop sign, an offense for which no jail time is authorized. Mr. Florence ended up spending seven days in a New Jersey lockup and during that time was strip, strip searched twice. He sued the state of New Jersey, which permitted this activity, and a federal appeals court dismissed the suit. The Supreme Court agreed to hear the appeal and it heard it earlier this week. It would seem obvious that subjecting someone arrested for violating a minor traffic stop to a week's incarceration and two strip searches is not constitutional. What should have happened is the FBI should have arrested the New Jersey cops and corrections officers and wardens at these jails who perpetrated these abominations on Mr. Florence for punishing him without due process. A clear violation of the Fifth Amendment. Let's hope. A Newark, New Jersey jury gets to decide if this is how the government in New Jersey should treat people. And will the government bring back death by firing squad? Wow. One Florida state lawmaker, Representative Brad Drake, has proposed a bill that would end the use of lethal injections in that state because he says it lets inmates off too easy. The bill would replace lethal injection with the electric chair or a firing squad. Easy? Death at the hands of the government constitutes being let off easy? It is staggering that a lawmaker could have such little regard for human life that he would consider a state execution an easy outcome. For a prisoner, the state would be better off eliminating the death penalty altogether. The state has no moral authority to kill except in the case of self-defense. And the Constitution prohibits all intentionally uneasy punishments.